fucking around with that damn Evelyn Lozada. I can't even get him mourning properly. Here it is, my daddy dead. I'm in here supposed to be crying and I, yeah, yeah, with black scarves and glasses on my face. And this bitch done made me mad. Catch these teas. <laughs> Serious shit if I don't came out of morning to get this bitch together. I am so sick and tired of Evan and Lozada ass. I was sitting on my sofa minding my business like I always do, eating my motherfucking egg roll, trying to plan out in my mind what suit I'm gonna put in my bag, cause I gotta get on a flight tomorrow and bury my daddy. And I seen an article from TMZ talking about she done sued old filing restraining order against OG. She don't want her nowhere around her, and this shit in infuriated me. I was already upset with Evelyn about this nigga word and this poor ass explanation of her being Afro-Latina, but I just let it ride. Before we get into this, let me first start off and say, I am actually pissed off and offended by a whole lot of y'all. There are some of y'all out there in my viewing, my fellowship, who is so just want to believe anything and everything somebody says about me that y'all connect dots that don't even fucking exist and in this instance I hope you feel bad and you are ashamed of yourself so many of y'all jumped down in my comments and was like fuck it Aniba, fuck it Aniba hi, it's so funny how they attacking OG, the dark skinned girl, there's a colorism issue and now all of a sudden you silent you ain't saying nothing, I hope you feel real fucking stupid, my daddy was somewhere dying bitch Okay, I have not watched an episode of Basketball Wives since Jackie, since Malaysia ran up on Jackie Christie. I got an episode behind, I got two episodes behind, and then life started kicking my ass. It had absolutely nothing to do with me not liking black women, and because they attacking the dark-skinned woman, now I'm silent. Suck my dick with that shit, number one. Number two, Evelyn, let's get on this color and this dark skin woman and this N word before I wrap it up. And Shawnee O'Neal, depending on how much breath I got left in my throat by the end of this video, your ass might get some too. Evelyn caught backlash for using the word nigga. A lot of Puerto Rican people do. It's New York culture, it's hip hop culture. Fine. Who can use it? Who can't use it? We'll fight that battle later. But what I did not like is that and instead of just saying it's a cultural thing, listen, I grew up using that word, she tried to pull this whole, I'm Afro-Latina, and I'm proud of where I come from, hence my right to use the word. Let me break this down for Evelyn and for the rest of you dumb, simple bitches out there. Yes, Evelyn, technically you are Afro-Latina, okay? You do have African blood in your Lineage. However, there is a difference between being African, you know what I'm saying, and there is a difference between being black in America. And I'm sorry, by no sense of the word do you show up as a black woman. There is not a single space in America or abroad where you show up as a black woman. The world receives you as a spicy, sexy, Latin woman. So what you tried to do was tie the word Afro-Latina into being black and use that as some haphazard, lazy-ass, pea brain explanation as to you being able to use the word nigga. For one, I, don't have a, I personally don't have an issue with Evelyn, Puerto Ricans, or anybody else who are part of the culture urban culture using the word. What I do have a problem with is that you navigate this world taking advantage of all the privileges that come with being a non-black woman. Then when your ass is under fire, you want to try to claim some blackness. I did not like that. I did not like that. I did not like that. You know what? I'm actually proud of myself that I'm able to articulate myself as emotional as I am right now without cussing you out and being all gutter brain with my mouth. I'm approaching 40, so I'm trying to do a little better at now, yeah, yeah, and I'm going to keep it going. Secondly, Evelyn, and I'm not saying this to be true for all Puerto Ricans, but I'm just going to speak in general, okay? Listen. Let's not act like you and many of your counterparts see it for black women or for the black girls. And yes, you was friends with Shawnee. And yes, you friends with Jen. Okay, but they black like this and not like this. Okay. Y'all have a way of being down with the black girls when they got money and when they got power. But Evelyn, you 
you strike me as the type who think you better because you got coffee color skin and good hair or whatever. So, you know, we're going to put a pin in this race issue real quick. I want to clear that Afro-Latina shit up. Now, here's the shit that's really pissing me off. By reality television history, Evelyn Lozada is the most violent female reality star that we've seen in the last decade. And I say that, Evelyn, because you picked up a glass bottle filled with wine or liquor and slung it across the room in the direction of somebody's head. You then proceeded to jump on a table in an effort to get to Jen. All of a sudden, OG tries to deflect you from jumping on CC, slung your ass in the bushes, and now all of a sudden your pussy had a problem. Now we've been knew your pussy had a problem. It was friendly, the giving tree. You know what I'm saying? But when OG got a hold of that ass, now all of a sudden you pat your pussy. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. What was wrong with the pussy? Why was it hot like fire? Probably some of that leftover gonorrhea from Tammy ex-husband or Chad Ocho Cinco, Dos Tres, and Nueve, and every kink down on your nigga you don't fuck from Baghdad back to Miami around the world and I ya ya again. I just don't understand it. And here's the funny thing about it. And I, I, and I will be the first to admit this. When OG first stepped on the scene, I didn't really care for her. I didn't. She came on too strong. She was something that I was not used to. She carried a level of arrogance that I just got, didn't like. And I still don't like. However, and I still don't really care for the whole OG situation. I don't. But that's a personal thing. It's not for any other reason than my personality just doesn't mesh with hers. However, I can dislike somebody or not like somebody and still be fair. I'm going to tell you the one thing that I do respect about OG and the one thing that I do like about what she did. She stepped on the scene and broke up that mean girl shit. See, y'all had an issue with OG because y'all were so used to new girls coming on this show with this fake sorority mentality, kissing y'all ass to be a part of y'all circle. Then you do a Cinderella thing on them and you accept them for three or four episodes, then the minute they do something that you get mad with, then you fall out with them again, and the whole dynamic over the years has been everybody trying to be down with the Evelyn crew, and you, you had a strong, a strong, and it has nothing to do with color, you had a strong woman who knew who she was, coming to this thing, could care less than a fuck about being down with you, the pretty girl, this, that, and the third. She wasn't with your mean girl shit, and that was the only trick you had in your bag because you are a one-trick pony. You are a one-trick pony. You give beauty, body, and mean girl. That's all you could do, and when your one trick did not work and you had none other to pull out your bag, you came unrattled. And that's what's going on with you right now. I think it is funny and I'm so upset with Shawnee and the powers that be at, in, at VH1. Yes, at the very end of the day, they can't physically control Evelyn in terms of her filing restraining order, so on and so forth. She's a grown woman and she has free will. But I know that somebody, Jackie Christie, I know Jackie. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have to call Jackie Christie. And I ain't used Jackie number in years. I'm going to call Tammy and get a good ass kiki out of this shit. Um, now that we back cool again, I know that everybody around you got to be looking at you like you got to be you've got to be fucking kidding me with this whole you fearful for your life thing. I think if it was Shawnee or even Jennifer, I could actually appreciate the restraining order and appreciate the whole um um um, I don't feel safe. Now, I got an issue, too, going back to this damn reunion. So, apparently, OG wasn't at the reunion or was escorted away from the reunion because Evelyn is talking about she doesn't appreciate being re-victimized. She's using her, her uh, domestic abuse status or whatever to re-victimize her. Evelyn, unless Chad gave you the DMs, the day he head butted your ass, it don't seem to me 
that you much of a victim at all if you comfortable enough to call him and gossip and get pages worth of DMs. First and foremost, I am more than positive Chad didn't just come out of nowhere and give you some goddamn DMs. Y'all have been having casual conversation with one another. That's how you know him and OG have had uh, dealings with one another. You know what I'm saying? Here is another instance where your face has been motherfucking cracked. Cracked down to the ground like your skull all over that damn Chad. Your ass was sitting up there looking stupid when Tammy said, well, I got to tell you I fucked Chad. And now your ass looking real stupid when your ass was married to him and his ass was talking to OG. Bitch, your face look when you turned around like this in utter silence, your face looked all kind of cracked. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the real gag is this. Let me tell you something. The straight boys taught me this a long time ago. Pussy ain't got no face. You wanted to call OG ugly. You wanted to call her Toji. You wanted to call her clothes. This, that, and the third, bitch. And your husband still wanted to get up in them guts, bitch. Humble yourself, ho. Humble yourself, bitch. You ain't the baddest thing walking the land. Everybody don't want you, especially now that you don't advertise that they use and abuse, tattered and battered pussy is hot like fire. Don't nobody want that Aaliyah puss, mama. Don't nobody even want it. I am so sick and tired of Evelyn's ass, and I bet you Jen or weak, feeble mind ass just somewhere back there, he he he, eating it up. And then we know what Shawnee doing. Shawnee pulling the proverbial, you know, complicit by omission. She ain't saying nothing. She quiet. She just want to be grown this, that, and the third. But Shawnee, because you the leader of the pack, you the executive producer, we are honestly expecting some level of unbiasedness from you. Like, Shawnee, I could have more respect for you because a real boss can just stand up and be real and state the shit the way it is, regardless of whatever. You cannot sit on this earth and tell me Evan and Lozada is sitting somewhere shivering, scared of OG. No, Evelyn's ego has been whooped, broken, tattered, torn up, put in the box, pushed down the elevator, and blown the fuck up. Her ego is bruised, and she don't know what to do. And here's why, going back to that earlier shit about you trying to say you Afro-Latina or whatever, but you and trying to equate that to being black. You don't show up in the world as a black woman. And you know why? Black women are not afforded the luxury to throw bottles at other black women and then play the whole, I'm meek, I'm scared, I'm a victim. That is honestly, that is all honesty, a right and a privilege that is afforded white women, okay? And you show up in the world closer to white than you do black, okay? Yes, you are Latina, Latino. Y'all have y'all own struggles in the U.S. that I will never understand. However, I've been black all my damn life, and I know that your ass is viewed in America as less intimidating and demeaning and scary than somebody like OG and you are fully aware of that and you are playing that card up to the max. Bravo to you girl. Bravo to you. You know it's, it's, it's funny because the person that your ass needed to be scared of was Tammy. Tammy was the one that was going to beat the shit out your ass. You know what I'm saying? I, OG don't even give me then she gon' whoop your ass. OG just give me, bitch, you not finna disrespect me. And yes, you know I play football. I can whoop your ass. It was Tammy that had she got a hold of your ass, you were going to be hurt. At best, OG know her strength. She gon' throw you down on the ground and punch you in the mouth. Tammy ass had years of frustration. And you fuck that lady husband. She was the one that was going to tear your ass out the frame, but I just hate that now you are playing all the tricks that the coy, the, 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 you, you are playing those conniving Emmett Till white woman tricks that white women in America play on black people all the time. Now you're scared and you're fearful and you are playing up this narrative that black people, dark skinned black women are scary and to be scared of and I'm just mad at everybody around you, Shawnee that is allowing you to do this. I, I, I just don't understand how you need a restraining order against OG. I, 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 TMZ, can y'all please get a hold of the restraining order? You literally darted across the driveway towards CC, but you need a restraining order? Give me a break. Y'all, I'm finna get off the line and go to Houston's and have me a cocktail. This bitch don't ran out my pressure. 
Bye. Hopefully she can fuck my man. Shit. Probably did. Then I'll be back. Plus I ass out some more.